Hi, you're watching Listen In with Laura and Lynn, and today we're going to review There Will Be Blood, filmed in 2007, directed by Paul Thomas Anderson. He also wrote and co-produced this movie, and it starred Daniel Day-Lewis, who was the only shining star in this movie for me. I totally give this movie a thumbs down. I don't think this movie was interesting enough for it to last as long as it did. I thought um, the storyline was boring. I didn't think there was anything... I just didn't see any glimmer of hope in this movie. I thought it was a drab, boring waste of time. Um, for the most part, I'm going to agree with you. Um, I'll always give a movie the benefit of the doubt. I'll never turn a movie off. I have to watch it to the end to find out what happens. And the movie was two hours and forty something minutes, but it did feel like six hours long. Yeah, it just dragged on. It was. It could have been. I just didn't understand. I I, I like the preacher. I like the aspect of of, you know him having to, you know, submit to the to, to, to God in order for him to get the amount of land that he wanted, blah, blah, blah. I just thought it was just way too, it was just watered down. I thought it was really boring. Daniel D. Lewis was fantastic, but and the preacher was fantastic. I loved the preacher. I don't remember his name, but I, I just, I wouldn't recommend this movie unless you had three hours of time you want to just never get back. The acting was superb by mm -hmm. the entire cast and I thought that um, it was really touching the relationship between Daniel Day-Lewis and this boy who wasn't even biologically his own son mm -hmm. but he treated him as one and loved him as one and when he got hurt and he went deaf mm -hmm. how heartbroken he was over that when he sent him away to that school mm -hmm. that was such a sad heartbreaking scene for me and I really believed in that relationship between them and then in the end when he shunned his son mm -hmm. was shocking I, yeah, it, it the movie went way downhill at that point when he he grew old and he was living in that big house. Mm -hmm. It turned depressing and dark, and the movie just well, you didn't think it'd get any darker. It got a lot darker. Yeah, it was a very it just I don't even know the word for it actually. I don't mind when a movie takes me on a ride down a dark road, mm -hmm. and it leaves it dark at the end. But that one didn't have. Uh, there was no, like, uh, anything you could think about afterwards. Like, it didn't leave me thinking about anything. Yeah, there wasn't really any questions you could ask yourself. what was the point of that? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And that's exactly how I feel about it. What was the point? And it, so. it got tons of critical acclaim. I don't understand it. And maybe that's why, you know, I don't get paid to do what I'm doing. But on the other hand, I'm still a moviegoer, and I appreciate film. This was not a good film. Thumbs down for me, too.